What's going on YouTube? Lyft man here. Just kidding. Uber man here. But I saw an article today pertaining to Lyft and I was like, this is crazy. I need to go ahead and do a video about it. Um, so everybody hates Uber, right? That's, that's, everybody knows this. Everybody just hates Uber because Uber's evil and Uber is trying to replace drivers with autonomous cars. You know, that's the end goal is to replace us with autonomous cars. So they suck for that. But Lyft, Lyft cares about their drivers, right? And they wouldn't do anything like that. Well, unfortunately, they are. I knew they would. They have to. You know, it's, it's, it's just one of those things. This is where the future's going, guys. Whether we like it or not, the future is automation. And not just in the ride share industry. Full automation. There will be a point in time in the future where everything will be autonomous. And where does that leave workers? Maybe a socialist type economy. I don't know. That's scary. That is scary because everything is moving towards autonomous and it's moving at an exceptionally rapid pace. And when you finally replace the majority of people that are working with robotics, you end up with a bunch of people sitting at home. Now, the people that own the companies, that own the, the manufacturing companies for the robots, the repair facilities for the robots, probably have robots that repair robots, right? <laughs> uh, the people that own the companies that the robots are working for, now, all these people become exceptionally rich. But the workers, what happens to the workers? What happens to, to the, the different classifications of workers? You know, you have, you have the poverty level, you have lower class, you have, you have middle class, and they've got, they call it upper middle class. And, you know, you've got the people at the top that are just, you know, absolutely insanely rich. The classifications, I, I, I feel like, go away. Because all that's left are the rich that own everything and the people that own nothing. And at that point, I feel like that is when we become a socialist society. People just sit back and collect a check, I suppose. Everybody would basically be on some kind of, of, of welfare. Scary thought, but that's not what this video is about. This is about Lyft obtaining autonomous Chevy Bolts from General Motors. And you know, Lyft is no better than Uber here. I know that they're the, the nice face, you know, it, it's like Uber's the dark side, right? And, and Lyft is just, Lyft is hope, Lyft is the future, Lyft is what everybody's looking toward for salvation in this rideshare economy that we have right now. And unfortunately, guys, they may put on a happy face, they may be friendly, but at the end of the day, they have the exact same goal Uber does. They want to take over the world. It's true. Maybe not the world, but the rideshare world, they want to take over it. And unfortunately, at some point, these jobs will become autonomous. It's just a matter of time. So I just want to bring you a video to let you guys know that, yes, Lyft looks very happy-go-lucky, but they are the devil just as well as Uber. Okay? I can't fault them for wanting to make money. I can't fault them for leading innovation for basically what's going to happen anyway. It's, it's just a matter of time. If it wasn't Uber, if it wasn't Lyft, it would be somebody else. This is the future, guys. It's scary. It's kind of sad. But this is the way things are going. And I don't believe there's any way we're going to stop it. So you can't really hate the companies too much. They're just doing what somebody else would have done. Just sad times, though, guys. Until next time, like, comment, subscribe, stay safe out there, and lift on.